Hello everyone, this is the remote for the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. I have the i8 mattress with the Split King. This is the remote. It does take two AA batteries in the back. Okay, and this goes on just like that. The remote is not that heavy, but this is what it looks like on your nightstand. Okay, so I want to go over the remote a little bit and show you some of the features. This button right here is going to adjust it from the foot of the bed to the head of the bed. Foot, head. If you want to go from the left side to the right side, you click this button, left and right. Just like that. This button right here, up, to raise the head of the bed up, to raise the head of the bed down. This one right here, we'll switch it from the head to the foot. You can raise the foot of the, the foot of the bed up, foot of the bed down. This one right here is for favorites or custom bed positions that are pre-programmed into the remote. Zero G. And you press enter watch TV you press enter read snore partner snore partner snore is if your partner snoring this will adjust the other side of the bed then you can go to your sleep number adjust which side to sleep number setting 100 you could do both. We usually use this setting if um, we're making the bed and we wake up, we put both, and it'll adjust both sides to 100 or whatever preset um, presetting you want. So in order to um, wake up the remote, all you have to do is move it. The remote does sleep after a few seconds. So we'll go back to favorites. Okay. Get out of here. Go back to favorites. We'll exit this. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay. So, this right here is to adjust your sleep number setting. In order to get to this screen, you can click the home button. You can click sleep number. And there you go. Left side. And you use this button for right side. So I'm on the left side. My sleep number is 40 or 35. If I want to go higher or lower, I just use the up and down arrow. And right now it's going to 35. You can click home. You can go to bed position. Enter. Left or right. Foot or head. There you go. So let's say you are comfortable and you want to save your settings. It's easy to do. You can click this heart button and this will save your sleep number setting. And you can click yes. If you want to go to favorites for the bed position, click this favorites button bed position, set favorite, and then you can click yes. What this will do is it'll allow you on the remote to click favorite, and it'll automatically adjust the head of the bed and the foot of the bed to what you set it at. What this also does is on the side of your bed, you have a little button. If you press that button, it will adjust it to your favorite setting. And if you press it again, it will lay your bed completely flat. We use that in the morning. So here's some more information. You have your sleep um, IQ status, right side, left side, and stuff like that on here. Left side, here goes my sleep IQ, which is the information, okay? Okay. System. This is going to be all your 
fun stuff, custom support number or email is right on here if you don't know where it is, what to do with it. Some other information on here about your system. You know. Let's get out of here. Okay, okay. I don't want to know about all that. One of the cool features that I like is timer. So, timer right here. Would you like to s turn off sleep number? No. I said bed position. Okay. So, what timer does is if you're watching a movie or you're just in your favorite position, what you can do is you can set it up to where your bed will lay completely flat or you can lay your bed to a, a specific, um, you know, elevation that you like to go to sleep without having to worry about um, grabbing the remote and changing your position when you get tired. So all you have to do is just go home, enter in the timer, enter your bed position. It's going to tell you, warning, make sure there's nothing underneath the bed, any animals or any children, and click continue. Then you can set it up to snore, re-TV, watch TV, zero G, flat. So I usually um, put flat. Okay, and then you have your timer. So if you're watching a movie and the movie's an hour and a half, you can set an hour, two hour timer if you fall asleep, or three hour timer, or you can have it set to where, hey, I'm gonna be home, or I'm home and in about two hours, three hours, I'm going to get in the bed. You can click it and it can go to your favorite position. So when you get in your bed, it's either in your favorite position or if you wanna go to sleep in an hour from now, It'll either lay flat. So that's the way that works. Hopefully I explained that well. This is how to get out of this area. Okay. And that's just the sleep IQ that I was in earlier. So this button right here is for that under bed light. So if you click it, that'll turn it on. You click it, it'll turn it off. Now, this one right here sets automatically. If you go into the settings, you can set up so when you get off the bed, it automatically turns on and has a duration, or you can just turn it off. Okay. This one right here is timer, so it's like a quick button for the timer. You don't have to go through the settings. This one right here is partner snore, an automatic button just directly for the partner. So if your partner's snoring, you click that, it's done. And this right here is an option that I did not um, splurge for because I did not feel it necessary. But this is for the heat of the feet for the, I think it's the Flex Fit, the Flex Bed, which is the number three, has the heat for the feet. And I don't want that, so I didn't have that. So that's what that's for. So, I mean, if you have any questions about the remote, I know it's a little bit of a long video and it wasn't really planned, but here it is. Um, you have your favorite settings with the star. I use that probably the most. Boom. Um, I still want to know about my sleep number. Click it. Bed positions. All this fun stuff. And there you go for zero G, watch TV, and all that. So you don't have to physically go like this raise up the head, raise up the feet. It'll do it automatically for you. If you have any other questions, let me know. But this is pretty much what the remote does for the bed. And um, this is what it looks like. I hope this was helpful to you. And um, remember, anything that you can do with this, you can do with inside the app for sleep number. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. And that's it. Thanks, guys and girls.